Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you add new vendors, they will have their default information set to match the settings specified by your vendor defaults. You can change this information if necessary. Then all you will have to enter is information that is unique to each vendor. You add new vendors through the Maintain Vendors window in Peachtree. You can access this window by selecting Maintain from the menu bar and then choosing the Vendors command. At the top of the Maintain Vendors window, you will see two text fields and one checkbox. The first text field is the Vendor ID, which is the code that you enter to uniquely identify your vendors. There is also the name of the vendor, and this is the name that you want to show on reports and bills received from this vendor. The checkbox, called Inactive, is the box that you check to make a vendor inactive. Now on the General tab, you input the vendor's contact and primary mailing address information into the fields that are provided. In Peachtree 2006 through 2007, you can select an address from the Address drop-down and then click the Copy to Remit to Address 1 button or the Copy from Mail to Address button, depending on your version, in order to save yourself some data entry work. Also in Peachtree 2006 and 2007, you can click the Defaults button to set the default addresses to be used for payments, purchase orders, and shipments by selecting the desired addresses from their respective drop-downs that appear in the Address Defaults window. When you're finished, just click the OK button to return to the Maintain Vendors window. Now in Peachtree 2008 through 2011, that information is now found on the Addresses tab. This tab, like the one that's found in the Maintain Customers window, is also used to copy the vendor's mailing address to any one of the selected Remit To Address lines shown. You can do this by selecting the desired Remit To Address from the Copy Mailing Address To drop-down, and then clicking the adjacent Copy button. You can also manually add or edit the information recorded for the different Remit To Addresses listed at the bottom of the Addresses tab. Now back on the General tab within the Maintain Vendors window, you can enter a vendor type which can then be used to filter vendors for reporting purposes. You can set the 1099 type for vendors that need a 1099, such as subcontractors. In Peachtree 2008-2011, through 2011, the Expense Account field shown is the default general ledger account used for transactions with this vendor. You can change this on a per transaction level as needed. You can then enter any additional contact information for the vendor into the boxes provided. In Peachtree 2003 through 2007, you can click the gray arrow for beginning balances that appears on the general tab to enter beginning balances for this vendor if needed. You do this if you had one or more outstanding bills from this vendor which you owed as of the start date of your Peachtree company file. In Peachtree 2008 through 2011, you can access the Beginning Balances window for your vendors by clicking the Vendor Beginning Balances button that appears at the bottom of the History tab. Now in this window, you can enter the dates and amounts of bills that you received but have not yet paid to your vendors as of the date that you started your Peachtree Company file. Just click the Save button to finish recording these bills when you're done. Now in Peachtree 2008 through 2011, you can then enter the data that you wish to record for this specific vendor into the Customizable Fields section back on the General tab. These fields are the ones that you created for your vendors when you set your vendor defaults. The History tab tracks and shows your purchases, payments, and last payment information for the selected vendor. This is updated every time you enter a transaction for a vendor. You can enter your historical information when creating a new vendor. After that, Peachtree will track and show information about your recent transactions with this vendor on this tab. On the Purchase Info tab, or the Purchase Defaults tab as it was called in Peachtree 2003-2007, through 2007, you enter purchase information about the vendor. If using Peachtree 2003-2007, through 2007, 
You use this tab to assign the general ledger account used by default when making purchases from this vendor from the expense account or purchase account in Peachtree 2003 through 2006 dropdown. Now in all versions of Peachtree, you also assign the vendor's tax ID number if you have to send out 1099s, your preferred method of shipping from them, and your terms with the vendor. The tax ID number field is used for vendors that have a tax number that you must input if you plan on sending them a 1099 miscellaneous or 1099 interest form. The ship via field is used to select the default shipping method used by this vendor to send you products. This is a field that you can always change at the time of purchase as well. In Peachtree 2008 through 2011, you can then set specific terms with this vendor if they differ from your vendor defaults by selecting the customized terms for this vendor choice from the terms and credit drop down. You can then set your specific terms from this vendor into the area below the drop down. Now in Peachtree 2003 through 2007, you can set specific terms with this vendor if they differ from your vendor defaults by clicking the gray arrow button to change the terms via the terms dialog box. Starting in Peachtree 2004, you can also select how the vendor prefers for forms sent to them. You can select either a paper form or email. When you print items such as purchase orders from the select a report window, this choice determines whether the form will be displayed for printing or automatically emailed. In Peachtree 2003 through 2007, the custom fields tab contains the custom fields that are set up through the vendor defaults window. You can then enter the specific information for the vendor record on that tab. Once you've input all of your vendor information, simply click the Save button to save the record. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.